Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am organizing my laundry room and I thought I would film it, show you guys what I did, a few little hacks and ideas. I'm going to be doing several organizing videos throughout my house as I kind of get everything in order, room by room, but I will also be doing beauty videos, mom videos, all the other videos that I have previously done. I'm a little slower with uploading right now, but I will get back into the swing of things um, once we get more settled with my sleeping schedule and everything like that. But I wanted to start with my laundry room first by organizing it. When we moved in, everything was just kind of thrown in there. And um, I do laundry, obviously, several times a week. And I wanted to organize this. So the first thing I did was I got a few containers at Home Goods. I like these caged containers. I took those white little cards and I'm going to paint them with chalkboard paint, which I happen to have in my craft closet. I've used it for other DIYs before in my videos. And I'm just painting those cards with the chalkboard paint that way I can write what is going to go in the basket on the card so I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry you can write on the white cards if you want to but I like this because you can change it up if you decide to put something different in the container so I'm starting with this small container I'm just going to put all of my items for the laundry so laundry detergent laundry pods dryer sheets in the bigger basket, I'm just going to put all my cleaning supplies. So I have surface sprays, disinfecting bathroom sprays, I have scrubbers, toilet cleaners, different things like that. Everything that I need for cleaning the house, I just pull that out when it's time to clean. And I will do an updated cleaning routine on my channel very soon, so you can keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm just going to go ahead and write with chalk um, what is in these baskets, and that's going to go in my laundry room. And then I found most of my items in the clearance section at Home Goods, so I would highly recommend looking in the clearance section. I also got a few baskets just to put extra toilet paper and paper towels. I have extra toilet paper in each of our bathrooms and then I also have extra paper towels in the kitchen, but I keep them in the laundry room as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these baskets up with that. We also like to buy white towels in bulk, the ones that aren't very expensive and aren't very good quality for indoor, outdoor projects. Also, my husband likes to go through them when he's using them in the kitchen for cooking. I store those there and also the extra mops for my shark floor steamer. This chalkboard was in the clearance section at Home Goods as well. I think it was under $10. I'm taking a little bit of twine and I'm just stapling this to create um, something to hang up clothespins. So what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm making a little matchmaker board for missing socks. I feel like whenever socks go missing they end up in the laundry room on the floor or in the laundry basket and they can be there for weeks or months on end. So I really liked this idea because you can hang up a sock and hopefully find the missing match over time and if you don't find it then you know it's time to toss the sock because the sock fairy came and took it so anyway I'm gonna call this the matchmaker also another tip for using a chalkboard in your laundry room is you can put items that you need to pick up like maybe you ran out of a cleaning item you can write that on the chalkboard there's a lot of different things you can do with a chalkboard in your laundry room so I like the idea of having one It's hard to get a good full shot of my laundry room to be honest um, because it's a small space but I have on the left side of my laundry room these shelves and I wanted to get these baskets from home goods also on clearance and they came all three of them together um, to put on the shelves I have the steamers and just miscellaneous items that go with my steam mop or my vacuum I'm gonna put my iron up there and also just miscellaneous laundry items um, for hanging up my broom and my mop, I just went ahead and got some hooks from Target. I'm gonna put those into the wall and then I'm going to hang lightweight mops and um, brooms and different things like that on there so they're easy to access. You can just grab them and it's cleaner instead of just having it up against the wall, which is what I previously had. So the right side of my cabinets, that's what they look like. The left side just has my laundry basket, so it's nothing special. I forgot to show that, but it just has empty laundry baskets. 
I want to share with you guys a few of my laundry tips that I do. One thing I do is clean out my washer once a month with vinegar. So I have one cup of vinegar in the washer by itself and also in the section of the washer where it says liquid bleach only, I fill that up with vinegar. This was actually a tip given to me by the person who maintains my washer and dryer. He suggested I do this and I use the washing setting on my Kenmore Elite. And also for areas that it's hard to reach, I will get a toothbrush with vinegar and clean that and it helps with mildew smell or anything like that. I also really like this laundry divider. I got this at Target. This is great for if you have multiple hampers and you're going through a house, you want to divide by whites, kids clothes, and Oliver loves to help me with it too. Have any more? No. Okay. Ready to push it? Yeah. The laundry room? To the laundry room. It's super cute because he loves to go from room to room to each of the hampers and divide the clothes. So he helps me out with that. For the dryer, I love these lavender dry bags. You can get them at Trader Joe's and they're reusable. But you can also make these with a sachet and some lavender. You just want to make sure that you double, triple knot it so that it doesn't open up in your dryer. But you can make several of these at home for, you know, pretty inexpensive. And then you can throw them in the dryer. I don't use these for my kids' clothes. Um, I only use it for linens and towels and things like that. I will also put one of the sachets where I store the towels. Those are some of my tips and ideas and how I organize my laundry room. We lived in an apartment for several years when we first got married. We had a communal laundry and then our second apartment we didn't have a laundry room. So it's interesting to have a room just dedicated to it and I wanted to make sure I organized it and got it all in order. So hopefully you can utilize one of these tips or two or maybe all of them. If you like my videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.